This experiment links to the Group 7 practical, the halogens, is frequently done at rugby school, and it is experiment one, where we compare the reactivity of potassium manganate 7, potassium permanganate, and manganese 4 oxide in, in their ability to oxidize the chloride ion in concentrated hydrochloric acid to make the gas chlorine. So these are potential methods of preparing chlorine. The solid manganese compound is in the boiling tube on the left. Concentrated hydrochloric acid is going to be added. The potassium permanganate, potassium manganate 7, is on the left and is the lower of the two boiling tubes. One at the top is manganese 4 oxide. In each case, some concentrated hydrochloric acid is going to be added. The gas evolved chlorine it's then going to pass into some sodium hydroxide solution into which universal indicator, the sodium hydroxide solution, has already been poured and some universal indicator has been added. And although the color is very dark, it is in fact a blue color. Chlorine is a gas that when it dissolves into water produces acid, so it will neutralize the sodium hydroxide, but the chlorine is also bleaching. We will look at the rate at which the chlorine is produced and this effect upon the indicator in the sodium hydroxide. So first we're going to add some concentrated hydrochloric acid to the apparatus at the bottom. About three and you can see that the gas is produced very rapidly. Place this back on top. You can see very quickly that a gas is produced. Okay, now the, the gas produced is of course chlorine and you can see that it is very rapidly produced and that the sodium hydroxide is interacting with the gas to a degree and the color is changing. Color heading certainly towards more green so that neutralization appears to be occurring and then towards a yellow color and perhaps no great sign of any pink colors in fact, the color of the indicator has disappeared. It has been bleached. A rapid production of the gas chlorine. If we compare this then with the reaction that we can do with manganese 4 oxide, we do the same thing. So I'll put three cm cubed of the concentrated hydrochloric acid into this one. You may already be able to see that the reaction is a lot slower and indicates the relative strength of the oxidizing agent that's uh, manganese 4 oxide in comparison to the permanganate. So, is there any signs of gas? Nothing too obvious. There may be a little bit eventually, but we will just encourage this by warming. And this can be seen as well in the video produced by Dr. Morse, where he looks at using this reaction to produce some chlorine for a displacement. Just warm this gently and you can see that a gas is being produced. But clearly at a much slower rate than the rate that we get with the permanganate. Just encourage it a little bit.
production of chlorine even on heating seems to be perhaps slower than when we had it with the manganate seven. So it's taking a lot longer for the blue colour to change and for the sodium hydroxide to be neutralised. At last we are just starting to see now that the colour is heading towards a more green colour. If we let that run, you can see that we start to see a little bit of yellow. And as we did with the other experiment, we don't seem to see the formation of any red colour as a result of the two acids because the chlorine acts as a bleaching agent and so the colour of the universal indicator is not seen.